Hey guys, today you're going to get back your self-portrait. Last time we drew all these crayon lines all over it. You're also going to need to get one paintbrush. The very first thing we need to do is we need to tape these down to our table because we're going to be water, uh, using watercolors today. If we don't, our paper is going to wrinkle a bunch and we don't want that. So at your tables there's some tape. You'll tape yours right down to the table. I can't really do that because my iPad stand is in the way. So I'm going to tape it to this piece of cardboard instead. But I'm going to tear off a piece to stop the length of that self-portrait. After I've torn it, I'm not going to stick it right on because this is too sticky. It's going to tear my paper when I go to take this off. So I'm actually going to take this and I'm going to stick it on my shirt a few times just to pick up some lint. And that's going to help it not be quite as sticky. So I'm going to tape it right across the top. I need to do all four sides. If you need help, be sure to ask me or a neighbor. Don't forget to do the lint part. For the bottom edge and the two sides, you should be able to just line it up with that little white stripe. should be about perfect. All right, now that I've got my self-portrait tape down, now I can paint. We're going to be using watercolors today. You need to get your brush nice and wet when you use watercolors. So getting it nice and wet. You can use whichever colors you want except brown, black, and white. Right, I only want colors. So I'm getting some purple on my brush right now. And I can just start filling in those squares. Do your very best. You need to stay in the lines. So I've got a purple. Rather than just doing one square and then cleaning my brush, then doing another color. I'm just going to fill in a bunch of the same color all over my self-portrait. Notice that I try not to put the same colors right next to each other. Some of them will do a really good job of soaking them in the paper. Other times, if it's an area where there's a lot of black, you can tell the color just kind of sits on the top and doesn't really want to soak in. That's fine. Don't worry about it. We're going to let it dry and see how it turns out. I also don't like to paint two spots that are right next to each other while they're wet. Because then sometimes they pull together and mix. We don't want that. Be careful around the edge of your head. It does not have crayons. So you need to practice up there staying in the line. When you get this far, and you can see that you filled in every little square, go back and forth, check to make sure you are finished. We're going to leave these taped down to the table right now. There's a chance that we might not finish. If that's the case, we'll come back and we'll work on these next class too. All right? So when you're done, make sure to put your brush away. Do your very best to stay in all those little lines. Use all different kinds of colors.